All right, sports fans, how's everybody out there doing? William Martin coming at you one more time here on YouTube with another edition of the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge Podcast. Now, yesterday, the Milwaukee Bucks and forward Giannis Antetokounmpo came to an agreement on a five-year extension for $228 million. The reigning two-time MVP has helped the Bucks become one of the better teams in the Eastern Conference in recent years. Now, last season, the Greek freak averaged 29 and a half points to to go along with 13.6 rebounds per contest. But the biggest question is, will Giannis be able to win an NBA title? We've seen it over the last couple of years. He's been unable to deliver in the postseason. And when I say deliver, get the Bucks over that hump. In the 2018-2019 NBA season, the Bucks won 60 games. They had the best record in the Eastern Conference. We saw them win the first two games of the Eastern Conference Finals that year before they lost the next four to the eventual champions, the Toronto Raptors. This past season, Milwaukee was rolling. They once again finished with the best record in the East. And then in the second round of the playoffs, they ran into an upstart, hungry, and mentally tough Miami Heat team that dismantled this Bucks club in five games. Now, make no mistake about it. One of the biggest things that is hindering Giannis from helping the Bucks take that next step, he's not a perimeter player. Giannis, what we've seen him succeed in, in the past couple of seasons, <clears throat> excuse me, is in transition and getting to the basket. And right now we have a situation where you know, like a lot of players around the NBA, a lot of people are caught up in the three-point shot. Giannis is not a three-point shooter. Giannis's game is, number one, getting to the basket and playing the post. And at 6'11", there's not a lot of guys at his position that could stop him close to the basket. I've been saying this for the longest time. Giannis needs to scrap the three-point shot from his repertoire and just focus on everything 15 feet and in. Why? Because when he does that, nobody can stop him. I think one of the bigger things for me is, is I've said it before and I'll say it again, Giannis is not mentally tough enough to get it done. And we saw that uh, this past season in the playoffs when the Bucks lost to the Heat, where in those clutch moments, Jimmy Butler of the Heat was guarding Giannis. Jimmy Butler is a smaller player than Giannis, and he just took him out of his game mentally. And he was never uh, the same. He was never able to get over that hump. And, you know, if you're going to be a championship player, if you're going to take your team to the next level, if you're going to take your game to the next level when the chips are pushed to the table in the postseason, these are the things you got to do. I don't think Giannis is still capable enough of doing that. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Giannis is a guy, but he is not the guy. Uh, Giannis needs to play alongside another star caliber player. And for me, this is why I am shocked that he decided to stay in Milwaukee. I mean, a lot of people were talking about him either potentially joining Jimmy Butler with the Miami Heat or even going to uh, to the Golden State Warriors because his contract was set to expire at the end of the 2020-2021 NBA season. Uh, but it's a situation for me. I think this was a comfort deal for Giannis. You look at it. You know what? He's happy in Milwaukee. It's a small market. It's not as much pressure uh, for him going to a bigger club. And on top of that, it's not a lot of pressure as far as him joining up with another star caliber player. And I think players are now starting to see the backlash that they can get from, you know, teaming up to quote unquote uh, form these super teams because everybody doesn't have the mental to do it. It looks good on paper. Oh, I want to play with my boy. I want to do this and I want to do that. But guess what? When you do that, the expectations increase. Make no mistake about it. The championship expectations for Giannis are still going to be there in Milwaukee. However, they're not going to be at the same height as per se, if he went to join Jimmy Butler with the Heat, if he went to join LeBron and Anthony Davis with the Lakers, these things like that, it's not going to be the same because right there, you definitely have to deliver his put up or shut up. And I don't think he has the mental uh, to deal with it. So what's going to happen right here? You're going to see Giannis in Milwaukee for a few more years. It's going to be a situation 
They're still going to be unable to uh, get it done in the postseason. They've already tried to make deals uh, to get more talent around him, ship players out. Uh, the next step is probably going to be the head coach. I mean, how many more chances are they going to get Mike Budenholzer uh, to get this done in the postseason before they move on to him? And at some point, the more and more that you continue to change the pieces around your star player and you consistently get the same results, it's going to ultimately fall into the lap of the star player. I don't see Giannis uh, finishing out this deal at at some point he's going to get frustrated because they're not winning and you know like most star players in the NBA right now he's going to look and blame everybody else except himself so at some point he will get traded I don't see him finishing this deal but at the interim this is a comfort pick for both him and the Bucks. I'm sure the Bucks are happy Giannis is happy because he's laughing all the way to the bank but at the end of the day it won't help his legacy in the end because he still does not have what it takes to win the championship so for right now the Bucks will continue to be a contender with Giannis in the Eastern Conference but he nor the Bucks have what it takes to get over that hump and get to that championship level so that's going to do it folks and I want to take this time out to thank you for tuning into the 300 pounds of sports knowledge podcast here on YouTube I want to thank all of the subscribers out there and if you have not already please feel free to subscribe to this channel now if you're on Twitter, please feel free to follow me at 300 pounds of sports. And like I always say, if you follow me, it'll be my pleasure to follow you right back. There is also the sports discussion group on Facebook at the Sports Depot 365. You can check it out. Drop a line and be a part of one of the better sports debating sites going on social media. So once again, fine folks, my name is William Martin. Take care and have yourselves a wonderful day.